Uh, she went and got Gorilla, who showed that mother coward to her. Man, I ain't, I ain't never seen my grandmama, my mama, my aunt, and them put print. Mm. Them show up, them walk around they put ain't in my That's the new normal, man. Man, that's, that's... That, that let you know that put ruined. They fing big d that putting them lips out. Got them all <laughs> lips hanging. Some big d with them, with them camel toes showing like that. Normal with them camel toes ain't looking like no more fing moose knuckle. That's you talk about. That's a ruined put. You feel like that's that's not classy. It kind of ruins the image of a. Yeah. See, about... homie. Uh, anytime a woman turn around and shake her, homie, that's that's the lowest you can go. Turn around and look me in my eye. Like them pictures like that, where you you know you're around obvious women who hustle their monkey. You you gotta tell them y'all gotta show y'all thong or something if you want to take a picture with me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bust down. Anyway, Let it be so... known. So Quit those, acting like you respectable now. Be at the stage getting ready to tip her. If she turn her to me, I'm going to turn her to her face. If she turn her to me again, I'm going to walk off. I ain't no ass. I'm not an ass. I'm a cis black man. I grew up watching Bluto and Popeye fight over Olive Oil. Olive Oil was skinny in the mud. I grew up looking at magazines with women faces, pretty faces. No, my I'm not a addicted freak, so you can't shake your me. I won't look at your man. Let me look at your. Let me look what's in your soul. Let me look into your soul. Yeah, back in the eighties and nineties, women were way more petite. And man, these ass more showing ass the girl this day, homie. Uh, they the reason why black men don't respect women because they think everybody like them. That's why every time a nigga with a woman, he said, "Hey, send me a picture," because you already putting on display anyway. So why not send a picture? Go down your social. Yeah, go down your social media page if you won't find nothing classy. Because they think all niggas want to see you. No, man, this like a pretty face. If your woman is out in the streets with you with stretch pants, stretch pants on, is she disrespecting you, Craig? I would say, yeah. I would stretch say, pants? Yeah. That wasn't, you talking about hers? That wasn't stretch pants. Five reasons why we live in the best generation. Number one, you could hook up with anyone and it doesn't matter. It's a common thing. Love it. Number two, anything that goes against your belief, you could just cancel it. Love it. Number three, you could be a thought and be proud. Shout out to Sexy Red. Five things you, sh five things you should always do before a sneaky hint. Number one, always buy a plan B because you know raw number two always take a shower because i don't like my desserts stinky number three always put comfortable clothes on because i hate wrestling to get those pants off well at them the, girls are the them, they, they hustling monkey that's what yeah. that's called they hustle they monkey oh they trying to get on if your girl got on stretch pants while she out with you she disrespecting you i can Wait, see now that they can't wear sure. yoga pants no not while you with me what? So what's appropriate? Like skirts uh, below the knees, no jeans showing their shape. Um, I ain't saying you can't wear jeans. <laughs> sundresses, I'm saying you can't wear them. Right. Yeah. That, that's Craig. He yeah. giving you the game. Sundresses is cool. Are cool. Swim trunks is cool. Like you know, <laughs> them Target swim trunks. With oh the, stop! You say oh, swim yeah. trunks. You say your girl supposed to wear swim oh, trunks. What the hell? <laughs> Swimming a t-shirt over. Okay, I I, I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have a girl go back in the house and change. Is that right? I done told a girl you can't be out here with me like that. We ain't gonna do nothing. Get into it. You can't go out with me like that. We gonna we we gonna get into it. You got on Look, some Tony pants. Says, huh? No jeans. Yo yo your monkey <laughs> is showing through the pants. Some, some girls got that big knuckle monkey. It right. looked like a knuckle. Right. And you be like, girl, you can't be out here with me like that. I'm going to get into it. If somebody try you, I got to protect you. So let us let me stop this now. Go on in the house and put on that, that baggy on, outfit I, I got for you. Don't just, I'm subliminally tell you what I want you to wear around. Okay. Greetings, you polite savages. Let's get ready to rumble! Ladies and gentlemen of Polite Savages, we are now about to embark on a journey sure to anger feminists and modern women alike. And this one's a doozy. We're going to talk about how someone can never get some satisfaction no matter how well they have it. The only thing we can do is guarantee to tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth as we see it. 
So there's nothing else left to do but get on into it. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey, yo, I don't know about y'all, but at the Moose Knuckle Mondays, I'm down for that. You know how I like to get down? These girls leaving nothing to the imagination, showing off their booty cracks, and every time they put out a slap, well, they gotta be showing some assets and making it clap. But hey, I'm not gonna stop these ladies from doing what they do. If they gotta be spreading open them cheeks, then let them do what they gotta do. The main issue I have this Moose Knuckle Monday, the camel toe galore, is you got the Glorilla out here, giving out mixed signals in her own words. Single and celibate until God send me my husband. Oh, come on, Glow, let's not go and pretend that you're out here trying to depend on a man. Because we know how these strong and independent lady like to go and do it. And But let's just wait one second and suspend all disbelief and believe in what she has to say. You went on a 90-day abstinence thing? Is that right? It was 60. 60 day. Yeah. 60 day. What made you like want to like lock in and, and, and do like a 60 day celibacy thing? It went good. I went for, I ain't gonna lie, I went 56 days. Okay. That's impressive. Yeah. What made you want to enter into that like challenge for yourself? Same shit. I ain't, I be getting about these help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get married? Mm -hmm. When I'm about 45. 45? Why so late? I feel like just don't calm down until they get about 45. Mm -hmm. And they still don't be calmed down then. So you want to have kids though? You have kids? Mm -mm. You don't got no kids? You want to have kids? Oh, uh, surrogate. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. Glow, glow, glorilla. See, these are a couple fatal mistakes that you make. The first one is no man was going to have to wait for you, whether you are a superstar or not. Because when it comes down to it, there will be another thought out there willing to go and bust it down. And then you're going to say some crazy thing that you're going to marry at the age of 45? Your first marriage? Nah, I don't think so. Women with high status, with money. Well, let me give you a, a blow to your eagle and, and put you right back down to earth and ground you. No man in their sane and sound mind is going to date a woman past her prime. Now, ladies, hey, hey, don't get mad at me. I'm just going with what the biological evidence says. And trust me, I would throw it down with many of you ladies over 45. But trying to put a ring around that finger at 45 when there's plenty and plenty of more, dare I say it, submissive and cooperative women out there working as your local Starbucks barista, the cashier at the Target's checkout line. Well, Glorilla, you're going to have a lot of slender, clean slate, willing to cooperate ladies out there competing for that high value man or a blue or white collar Henry Heiner is not rich yet or a man with means and capabilities to be protecting and providing for his family. Because most guys, whatever income bracket they're on, and I'm talking about the guys that actually get their work in done every day, chasing after their passions and purpose and making a dent in the universe. Well, I'm gonna let the next clip speak for itself. Name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon? I really wanna know. Uh, yeah, my name is Key, I'm 28. Mm -hmm. uh, really, uh, to be honest, man, the physical attraction just isn't there. But I was gonna give you a chance, I was gonna hear you out. You know, it's like, I mean, you don't look bad at all. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you, you know, you look pretty good, but then you said you rap. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not really cool with that, and all the traveling and stuff. So, like, the rapping, the traveling, the mm -hmm. being out, it's just, I don't like a busy woman like that. That's too, doing a little bit too much. Yeah, okay, and, and, that's understandable. Like, pretty much. It went back and forth almost every dude up here. No. So I feel like it kind of a little argumentative a little bit. So like I can see us being out on a date and you going back and forth with a waiter because something ain't cooked right. Or, like, wow. So you think I d uh, disrespect uh, civilians and people that serve other people and do their job? Oh, these dudes are civilians. They're civilians. The first chick I want to talk about that high value men tend to avoid. And what I mean is they avoid for long term relationships, marriage. We're talking about public relationships. We're not talking about they'll hit it, kick it with you. We're talking about nope, not gonna drop to that ring, not gonna drop to the floor, uh, to the knee, and put a ring on it. Mm -mm. If you're trying to be a potential wifey to be, you're gonna have to do a lot more than that, Glorilla. And not only that, but you're gonna have to erase most of your past history or do a lot more work improving yourself that you'll submit and bow down to your man. You were out here out in the streets saying loud and proud FNF, but now you gotta go out and do your best to try to find the guy that, that will drop down to one knee and propose to you. I honestly think men is is programmed to cheat. Like That's crazy. They really don't be trying to hurt no your feelings. Do you feel like there are no faithful men left? The ones I like none. <laughs> so I need to change my type. What's your what's your type now? <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, you know, my type. <laughs> you got a, a record with Lotto called Procedure. Are men really trying to trap you and get you pregnant? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you handle that? <laughs> uh, one eight hundred. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I know you're trying to turn over a new leaf, but it's too late to rewind the hands back in time and now loudly proclaim that you are going to be celibate. No man is going to want to deal with that mess when there is plenty of women all around the world ready to spread the legs, give head, and give up the sex. There's a problem with any other superstar limelight woman at the time. This is exactly the kind of problems you're going to have to be dealing with when these below average predator like guys are out there prowling on the streets looking for an easy target like you to get inside your heart, work their magic, work their lock it and cock it game. And I should admit to this, but I'd be the perfect candidate to be shooting my shot, popping up in the DMs and say, hey, what's up, Glorilla? I'm, I'm ready for my soft guy era. And I got the drizzle drizzle that the Jizzabells really like. I am in my soft guy era. Why are you giving me $20 to get lunch? What am I gonna do with $20? If you're not sending me $150, ask my girl, if you're not sending me $150 for my food, what purpose do you serve? I am in my soft guy era. I'm talking to this girl, she said, hey, do you wanna stop over at McDonald's? Do you hate me? You should have said Chick-fil-A and at that, that is still disrespecting me. I only do Ruth Chris, Del Frisco's and Nobu. You should know that. Me and my guys are out at dinner for my birthday and I invite you as my girl, why aren't you picking up the bill for all of my friends? I am in my soft guy era. I'm talking to my girl, she sent me $40 for a haircut. I sent it right back. What the f am I gonna do with $40? Why aren't you sending me 150 minimum? That's why I don't have a haircut. I'm not gonna tolerate that disrespect. I'm in my soft guy era. That Y'all want girls to pay for stuff. And honestly, bro, you type of dudes, bro, is damn right it's about time personally if you ask me it couldn't have been said better i'm i'm just relieved to know that it ain't just me you want to come here asking me what i got to offer what i bring to the table baby i am the table and and, and it's not the question of do i got money obviously <laughs> but i want yours how could we speak in our mind now we sassy now we acting zesty what y'all be saying and did don't care i'm gonna put your ass to work i'm looking for the big ballers okay when that bill comes to the table don't even look in my direction it's giving broke girl and baby if that's the case that's fine just say that no judgment but next caller i'm sorry boo no money on your done yun. it's gotta go at this point i'm not even answering the call unless i get a cash app first like what listen everybody keeps asking me what i think about the drizzle drizzle uh movement what you think i'm all for it come I on see this is the woman we need the women that are trimmed the women that are not broke we're done with the broke in 2024 we've dealt with broke for the past 150 years. See, Tay Tay got her own motion in her own bag, and now we got girls out here talking about, I don't even want to work a job. Oh, I'm working 20 hours a week and some, you're broke as Flight savages, do you really believe that Glorilla is going to commit to her now celibacy? Keeping herself nice and prude, not going out there to the clubs, doing things that her parents wouldn't approve? Or you think she's going to be breaking that promise? Because every time I go on social media, all I see is her out there showing her lovely lady bits, bending over where you can even see her, uh, well, imprinted slit. This looks like a clear advertisement for a woman for the streets where the high value guys will be totally ignoring her because what they see is a woman engaging in very horrid ways, painting a perfect picture of contradictions. Where the saying goes, can you really make a hoe to be a woman chose? Body crazy, curvy, wavy, big titties, little white body, yaddy, 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 So there you go, oh. Can't make a wife out of a hoe, oh. Can't make a wife out of a hoe, oh. This is going to be the same long running standing issue for these modern women out here, practicing the modern woman ethos and running the modern woman playbook. When they're out here just running off their good looks, the only problem is, is that they're acting too tough and way into their masculine, not embracing any kind of feminine energy and coming with 100% femininity. 
because what the guys out here notice and what we see on a daily basis is that the ladies are verbalizing or even showing in their body language that they are strong, independent, need no man, shaming and insulting the guys, willing to assault the man with lies and destroy his reputation. These ladies are acting like piggish boars, completely stubborn, lacking the ability to communicate and seeing a man as a hardworking and a good person. Let me put you in a quick scenario. If you had a boyfriend, right? And your girls invited you out to go out, you know what I'm saying, to a club. And mind you, you got a boyfriend, you know what I'm saying? So you go out with your girls, but you go out looking like this. But your boyfriend say, change, I don't like what you got on. You gonna change? No. Why not? Because I'm grown. So you don't listen to your man? No. You don't listen to your man? No. But why you not gonna change? Like, you know what I'm saying? Give us a good reason, you know? I feel like that's just weird, that's insecure. You know, I don't know about wifey material, well, no, but because wifey material doesn't define what you're wearing. It's the type of Does person it? that you are. Nah, true. Okay, I agree. But let's say if I was your boyfriend, I wouldn't like you to be wearing this. You're not gay, you're not. She's my girlfriend. No, nah, I'm not. That's why I don't give. I want my girlfriend to wear this. I think my girlfriend looks hot. I want no, my no, girl no, no. to wear like good. that. She looks good. I agree. What is a guy gonna think when he sees this? She a little. Shit. I want my girl to go out and everybody be like, oh, she's hot. You're thinking as a guy. As a guy. Excuse me. That's so you're calling me a. That's the way you guys think. So, bro. yes or no, are you calling me? I am. Now, it was all funny when you was telling me the truth. Now, I'm telling you the truth. Stand on business. I thought we were standing on business. Stand on business, young man. Wow. That's the way you guys think. The f my girlfriend yeah, they don't know so the way you guys think. You're small. So, basically, you're small. So, what if I'm small? But I also don't want my daughters out of here. We're walking the street with tights on and a halter just so men can walk around or drive by and bump their horn at them and whistle them. So is it their fault or is it the men's fault for sexualizing them? It is the nature of a man to be attracted to a woman who hardly have anything on. Tights and a halter top? Yes. Uh, let's let's be so real. Who's, so then, I'm just trying to think. If I choose to dress today and have on a tights okay. and a halter top, and a man honks at me, it's my fault. It's the fault of both. If you dressed in a way, you don't believe that a woman can dress in a way that can lure a man to him. That's just like saying if a woman puts on a tight dress, she deserves to get. No, that is not saying that. Yeah. Because regardless of what a person wear, they don't deserve to get. But at the same time, let me make this example. Please. There are some men that drive a, a very fashionable car and look a certain way. And sometimes that look attracts certain women. There are certain looks that a woman can have on that make her appear that attract certain men. That's just a fact. But when you out here acting like Lil Rilla and acting like any other three or four rapper out there, not willing to take direction going with the herd on social media, practicing that whole slut culture, the consequences and repercussions that you'll reap is that any man that's worth a damn will see this, whether that is an average man, a man on his mission, and especially a high value man whose true act of submission is to God or whatever he believes in and to the safety and security of his family. These loose, insane, lion light wannabe celebrity influencers, three or four thought rappers, are the kind of women that men will avoid and use just like a new toy. A warning goes out to the women that embody the demeanor and personalities of screeching harpies, hustle box harlots, where the men will just use you for a good time, fun time, beat up the box, pump and dump it just like a sex doll puppet. The fifth chick he avoids is the loose chick. The loose chick. The chick that would be on um, Amber Rose's walk. The chick that would be running around singing Nicki Minaj WAP. If you walk around talking about Nicki Minaj WAP, if you're talking to like Meg the Stallion, if you talk about Hot Girl Summer, if you're talking about tap, 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 waist on dinner, dun, 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 that is a catchy song though. I am not gonna lie. So you can listen to all these hip hop chicks and you can have, not lie, but you will not have a high value man talking that mess. So you can listen to all these hip hop chicks and you can have all kind of Skittles, rainbow colors in your hair. You can have these long pointy vamp, you know, Edward scissor hands, fingernails, and this cartoonish makeup that even RuPaul would be like, damn, slow down. You can have all that. And you will attract men who are looking for a character. 
but be invited to the governor's mansion, the mayor's ball, taking you to a, a local gala, a new art exhibit, taking you out to, no, no, not happening. Waste don't tibber, tap, tap, tabba. I'm gonna show you how to get an eight finger, really? Really? No. Not gonna happen. That's all I got for you, you polite savages. Like and subscribe, hit us up on all social media networks. <laughs> we found true happiness.